As we begin to use smartphones in our everyday lives more and more, a lot of people are becoming a bit worried about the privacy concerns with carrying around a device that has multiple microphones and multiple cameras and for a lot of things saying things in front of these devices and doing things in front of these devices i know that the new smart home devices for from google a lot of times have hardware switches on the back that you can actually cut the power to the camera and or the microphone and that's something that is actually pr or missing on smartphones these days there's no way to flip a switch and know that there's no software no hacker there's no way possible that anything is going to be able to look through that camera and we still don't have that to this day but there are software features now thanks to third-party apps that will let us know when the camera and the microphone is currently being accessed. So this application I'm showing you is called Access Dots. It's from the developer who made a couple of other community-liked applications like Energy Ring and Energy Notch. But Access Dots seems to be a feature pulled, borrowed, however you want to say, from iOS 14. I don't use iOS and I don't follow any of that so I can't comment on that but this feature is great and that's why I want to show you so the the application is called access dots you can find it in the Play Store and I'll link it in the video description and on my website and when you down it's a free application when you download it you're gonna open it up and you're just gonna see a very simple user interface right here so you, again, we get the basic features for free. We just have to turn them on. We have a toggle right here that's going to direct us to the accessibility page within our settings. So once we are taken to this accessibility page, we're just going to tap on the, for this device, this Galaxy device, so we're gonna tap on the installed services option. This may look a bit different for you, uh, depending on your um, smartphone OS, like if you're using MIUI or AOSP, it may look a bit different. But we, we need to enable access dots to have accessibility service. We get a description of exactly what this application needs this for. And like I said, it just needs this to know whenever the um, camera is being accessed or whenever the microphone is being accessed so that it can relay that information to you. So once we enable that, we can go back a few times to take us back to this app screen. And once we have enabled those accessibility services, you're going to see that that toggle is allowed to stay on. If we refuse to do that and we went back, we would notice that that toggle is off. So from here, we can simply just test this outright. So we can go the, or close that out. We can bring up the voice recorder. And you can see, open up the voice recorder. It's not sampling any type of audio right now. And it won't until we press that record button. The record button has been pressed. And you're going to see that excess dot up there at the top. It's the color for the default. I believe it's the default. And whenever we pause and stop, we can save. We can see the moment that app has stopped using microphone services. This is going to work if we're initiating, say, um, the Google Assistant. And like I said, it even works for the camera, but you're only going to see it for the selfie camera. So you're going to need to change it over to a, for, for testing purposes, you're going to need to access the selfie camera in order to make that light up. So it seems that the rear camera is fine. You're not going to get an access dot displayed whenever an app 
accesses the rear camera, but it will if it accesses the front camera. And I think that's a good compromise between the two. A lot of people don't mind that the rear camera, they just mind what's, what's facing toward them. Maybe that is a feature that'll be changed in the future. So you can see that both of those, exactly how those features work. And this is going to work for any app, whether it's a system app, a third-party app. If it's accessing the microphone or the camera, you're going to see that access dot in the corner. And then you're going to see it go away as soon as, that ac as, soon as the access has stopped. Now I also wanted to show you that within the app we can go into the settings. So for the free app we get the full function of it and we can actually change the colors as well. That's included in the free version of the app. However if we want any extras like changing the size of the access dots or changing the location of the access dots we're going to be prompted to support the dev. Now since Access Dots is using accessibility services, it has been known that applications that require this can add a little bit of battery drain to your device, a little bit more than usual, because for those actions, like accessing the microphone and accessing the camera, those actions need to get piped through access dots essentially so that it knows when those things are being accessed so that it can tell you. But it is possible that this application will add a little bit of battery drain to your device than normal. But it, again, it is a great third party application for Android that's free that will let you know anytime your front-facing camera or your microphone is being accessed from any application, whether it be in the background or in the foreground. 